the targets that way. Our bags, put that down. Farah? Farah! <laughs> Psst! Over here, guys! Why is Farah hiding behind that tree? Uh-oh. It's the invisible prankster! Take cover! Ah! <laughs> Hero, over here! <laughs> I got you! <gasps> Hero! Is he okay? Stay with us, Hero! <laughs> He's all right. Just have to dry him up a little. How about you guys? Phew. All good here. Me too. So, who's shooting at us? What is that? Huh? It's a fish? Huh? What are you doing, Leo? It's a fish. A fish is shooting at us. A fish? The fish won't understand you, Leo. Just talk normally. Right. Well then. Huh? Oh, never mind. Over there. <laughs> wow. A spitting fish. Now I've seen everything. Say cheese. I sent you a photo of the fish, Katie. Do you know what it is? The spitting fish is an archer fish. Archer fish catch bugs and insects by spitting water jets at them. Sometimes the archer fish even jumps out of the water to catch them midair. Archer fish have great eyesight and they can hit targets up to two meters high. They're no quitters either. If at first they don't succeed, They'll spit, spit, and spit again. But if an archer fish spits to catch bugs, why is this archer fish spitting at us? A cricket? Over here! Oh, I think the archer fish is just trying to catch this cricket. But it's not very good at it. Well, from what we just learned, the archer fish will get the cricket soon. Let's wait and see. Um, any minute now. Its aim was way off. Oh, no. Is there any way we can help it? <gasps> Not my glasses. I need them to see. Oh, I have an idea. The archer fish probably can't aim very well because its eyesight is bad, just like mine. It needs a pair of glasses. Are you sure they'll fit? Positive. There. Aw, it looks like one smart fish. But why is it sinking? Oh, no. I think the glasses are too heavy for the fish, Katie. Hmm. What if we used a lighter frame? Or maybe its eyesight is not the problem. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> what do you mean, Ranger Rocky? The archer fish sees just fine. It's just not a very good hunter yet. Yet? Shooting at bugs that live outside the water is pretty tricky business because things look different from underwater. Every archerfish needs to learn how to aim properly. It's not something they can do right away. When a young archerfish starts hunting, it's not very good at it, at first. But after watching other archerfish and practicing, it gets better at aiming and shooting. All it needs is more practice. More practice. Well, the Junior Rangers are here to help. We'll teach the archerfish how to aim and shoot perfectly. I'm sure you'll do great. Good luck, Junior Rangers. See you around. Bye, Bye Junior, Junior Rangers. Rangers. But how are we going to teach an archerfish to shoot? With a little shooting practice, of course. Uh... Ah! How did it even get to me? Whoa! My handbook! Ah! No! <gasps> You've got to stay cool, remember? Take a deep breath, then go for it. I know you can do it. Way 
Way to go! You did it! <laughs> that was amazing! Hey! Run like the wind, hero! Ready to try a moving target this time? On your mark, get set, go! Just keep going, you're doing great! Come on, just take a deep breath, you can do it! Yes! Yes, all right! I think it got the hang of it! Then let's up the difficulty. Hero, time to take this to the next level. <laughs> cool! Look at it go! Alright! Huh? Hey, where's it going? The target's that way! Our bags! Put that down! You saved our stuff! Thank you! You're an expert now, aren't you? There's nothing more to teach you, Archerfish. Bye, Bye Archerfish. Archerfish! Good luck! Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. How are you? Hey, Leo! I've done it! I invented an animal translator! That's amazing! What are you going to do with it? Well, I've always wanted to crack the code of the Humpback Whale song. I'll finally know what they're singing about. Humpback Whales? Cool! Would you guys like to join me? You'd be the first to watch my translator in action. Of course, that'd be awesome. Cool beans. I'll share my location with you. See you guys soon. Ranger out. Humpback Whale. Here it is. It seems that humpback whales are huge. An adult humpback whale is 12 to 16 meters long. That's roughly the length of an average school bus. And it weighs about 40,000 kilograms. That's almost the weight of six African elephants. While both the male and female humpback whales produce sounds, the males are known to sing loud, long, and complex melodies. And thanks to Kai's animal translator, we are going to find out exactly what they're singing about. Thanks for coming, guys. So how does your animal translator work, Kai? It's really simple. I'll show you. You're going to be so impressed. Hero, speak. <laughs> and that automatically translates into... I love you, Katie. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I love you too, Leo. You guys are my best friends. Aww. Aww. We love you too, Hero. What about me, Hero? Do you love me too? Potato. Huh? Uh, I'm sure it's just a little bug. <laughs> I'll have it fixed in no time. Do you guys hear that? Over there, humpback whales. Wow. wow! That was awesome. I can't believe he just jumped out of the water like that. That's called breaching. It's when a whale jumps out of the water and crashes back down. Humpback whales tend to jump higher and more often than other whales. These whales are way cooler than I imagined. I can't believe I'm really here. Now I'll finally get to know what the whales are singing about. Don't forget to bring the onions. Onions? I don't think that's what the whale is actually saying, Kai. No, it can't be. My animal translator is supposed to be perfect. Hang on, guys. I can totally fix this. Hey, did you see the size of that fish I caught? Oh, boy, here we go again. Parrot ketchup on your stick. Huh? Oh, no, I can't make it stop. It's translating everything. Hi, I'm a fish. Well, at least you know your translator works. Jumpin' rabbits, orange muffins are cool. <laughs> it works sometimes. Ah, oh, how do I make it stop? Oh! Is everybody all right? I'm fine. 
I'm all okay here. Wait, where's Hero? Hero! 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 Hero, where are you? I'm inside a whale. A, a whale? whale? Let me confirm this. I just have to connect to his camera and done. Wow, that's the inside of a whale? It's the inside of a whale's mouth, to be precise. Ranger, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Do not worry, Junior Rangers. Hero will be just fine. Humpback whales don't have teeth. They can only swallow things whole. They may have big mouths, but their throats are pretty small, around the size of a grapefruit. That's why humpback whales can only eat food that's small, like krill and anchovies. That's a relief to hear, but we can't leave him in there forever. We've got to find a way to get him out. Excuse me, humpback whales? We've lost our dog and we hope you can help us. They don't understand what we're saying. Not to worry, Junior Rangers. I'll get the whales to sing. Ooh. How did you do that, Ranger Rocky? I speak whale. That's so cool. Ooh. Hero is in its mouth. Now, all we have to do is get the whale to open its mouth. Hero, you're all right. Thank goodness you're okay. Thank you for saving me, guys. I love you. I wonder what they're singing about this time. The songs of the humpback whale sure are beautiful, but I think I like them better when I don't know what they're singing about. Me too. I think we should go back, Beagle. Whoa! Oh, oh no, oh no! Beagle, we're stuck! The, 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 the river monster! It's the river monster! Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Pale. What's going on? A giant monster fish? Yeah! Here's a picture of it! <gasps> Whoa! It does look scary! I don't know, Leo. We can't see it clearly. Let's clean up the image on the computer. Good idea, Katie. I'm right behind you. Let's see. Enhancing image. And there! Ooh! It's just a bunch of small fishes. There's no giant river monster at all. You can jump into the water and swim to shore, Peo. Oh, no river monster, huh? Okay then, I can swim to the shore. Thanks, Leo. Hmm, I wonder what type of fishes they are. The fishes in the water are red-bellied piranhas. <gasps> they have razor-sharp teeth and powerful jaws that enable them to bite down with great force. Oh no! Peo, get out of the water! Huh? What? Oh, I haven't jumped in yet. Okay, that's good. Because red-bellied piranhas swim and hunt in groups called a shoal, which can include more than a hundred piranhas. More than a hundred? That's a lot. Oh no! Please come get me! Of course, Peo. Stay put and we'll be right over. Thanks, Leo. See you soon. Ranger out! Ranger out. Come on, Katie. Let's go save Peo from piranha-infested waters. Peo! Pico! We're here! Leo! Katie! I'm so glad you found us! Good to see you, Peo. Reach for my hand and climb aboard. <gasps> What's that? Whoa! Ah! Oh, no! Hey! I got you, Peo! <laughs> <sighs> I'm okay. That was close. What is it, Hero? <gasps> There's a piranha on your back, Peo. Ah, get off my back! Shoot! Ah. Leo, it's over there. Get it, get it! I 
no! I'm trying to grab it! Come here, piranha! Kayo, stop! You can't use your bare hands! It could bite you! Oh, yeah! Oh, no! Ah! Get away from me! I'll get it! Ugh. Watch out, hero! <laughs> I think so. Hero, are you okay? <laughs> that was scary! Huh? What's that sound? Is it a snake? <gasps> no! It's worse! Platypus One is sinking! We're sinking! Ah! Oh no! What should we do? Quick, Leo! Activate submarine mode! Right! I'm on it! Platypus One, activate! See where we're going. The water's so murky. Switch on the lights, Leo. Oh, right. <gasps> uh oh. Yikes! The piranhas are following us. <laughs> ah! Let's use flight mode. They can't follow us if we're in the air. Flight mode, activate. Huh? Uh, it's not working. Oh no! Platypus One must still be broken. Come on, come on, work. Rangers. Ranger Rocky? I got it. Back into the water you go. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. I thought we'll get attacked by the piranha for sure. Actually, piranhas are not as scary as you may think, Junior Rangers. Red-bellied piranhas have a reputation for being aggressive and fearsome, but that's not exactly true. If we don't mess with them, they tend to leave people alone. In fact, Red-bellied piranhas usually eat prey that are already dead. While it's an advantage to hunt in packs, this behavior of traveling in groups is actually due to their fear of predators. I guess we just have to be careful around the red-bellied piranhas. That's right. Stay away and don't provoke them. <sighs> Since there is no ferocious river monster, can we go home now? I'm really tired. Sure, Peo. But first, we need to fix Platypus One. It's been acting up all day. I can help with that, Junior Rangers. Leave it to me. There. This should be enough to get you home. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. All right, Junior Rangers. I've got to collect more animal droppings for my research. See you around. Goodbye, Goodbye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. See ya. Bye-bye. What a day. Let's go home. Okie dokie. Platypus One, activate. It's nice to know that there are no river monsters here. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. You're just in time for a game of table tennis, Hero. Okay, Hero, I will serve the ball first. Here I go. Oh, almost, Hero. What is it, Hero? More balls? How did they get here? Oh my, what's happening? It's a baby turtle. So these aren't balls, they're eggs. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now smile, little one. Katie, are you there? Hi, Leo. That's a sea turtle. What a cute one. Can you find more information about it? 
You can count on me. Great. I'm coming up. Hi, Katie. What information did you find about the baby sea turtle? Hi, Leo. There are seven types of sea turtles. This one is a leatherback sea turtle. It's the largest of all sea turtles. The leatherback sea turtle is named for its shell. It doesn't have a hard bony shell like other sea turtles have. Instead, its shell is covered with skin which feels like rubber or like leather. The leatherback sea turtle can also dive deeper than any other sea turtle. Leatherbacks eat small sea creatures, but what they mostly eat is their favorite food, jellyfish. Unfortunately, they sometimes find plastic bags in the sea and mistake them for jellyfish, so they eat the plastic bags. This is one of the reasons why the leatherback sea turtle is in danger. Oh no! People should not throw their garbage in the seas. Absolutely, Leo. Especially because the leatherback can be found in almost every sea worldwide. Male leatherbacks never leave the water, but female leatherbacks will leave the water to lay her eggs at the beach. I see. We should bring the baby sea turtle and the eggs back to their nest at the beach. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Ah, I see you've brought along a sea turtle and some unhatched sea turtle eggs. Yes, Ranger Rocky. These eggs are from a leatherback sea turtle. That's great, Leo. Unlike land turtles or tortoises, the sea turtle cannot pull its head and legs into its shell. Sea turtles have flippers, which are permanently fixed outside their shells. However, this does help the sea turtle swim very fast and very well. The leatherback sea turtle can reach the age of 50 or even 100 years old. But for the sea turtle to grow old, it has a lot of challenges to overcome. As small babies, they have a lot of predators in the open seas. Even when they are still in their eggs, there is the danger of other animals trying to eat the eggs. When the female sea turtle lays her eggs on the beach, she disturbs the sand to hide the nest from predators. Remember, they choose sandy beaches to lay their eggs because their soft shells are easily damaged by rocks. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Look! Baby Turtle is trying to make it for the sea! Oh no! Raccoons! No, you can't have these eggs! It's too dangerous here, little one! Let's run! What can we do, Leo? I sense trouble, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky! Raccoons are trying to get the baby sea turtle and the sea turtle eggs. Raccoons dislike bright lights, strong smells, and loud noises. Good luck! I have an idea. Let's try to make some noise with those smelly dustbin lids. Hopefully, that will scare the raccoons away. Great idea, Katie. And there is Hero to help. Ugh. It worked! They're finally gone. The eggs and the baby turtle are safe again. To find the sea turtle's nest, you have to look for ghost crabs. Good luck! What are those? Those are ghost crabs! Great work, Hero! We're coming over! Shoo, crabs! Good luck, little friend! Look, the eggs are hatching. Goodbye, everybody. We did it. We found the sea turtle's nest. Great job, everyone. This is weird. It sure is, Leo. There are holes everywhere. Who do you think dug them up? Was it you, Hero? Well, I guess the mystery will have to wait. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. Are you diving? How's the water? Hi, Leo. The water is just fine. But look what I just found on the ocean floor. A sand circle. 
You found that on the ocean floor? It's unbelievable. Look at those patterns. The circle could be a message. Maybe a signal for an alien invasion. Aliens? Aliens? Should we destroy it? We don't want animals getting abducted. I think we should look for more information about the circle first. I can run the photo through the computer to find out more. Good idea, Katie. In the meantime, stay put, Kai. Don't do anything until we learn more. Got it. I'll be waiting for you guys in the waters of Amamiyoshima Island. Ranger out. Ranger out. There's no alien invasion. The sand circle was created by the white-spotted pufferfish. A fish made that circle? That's right, Leo. To create the sand circle, the white-spotted pufferfish swims along the seabed and uses its fins to construct detailed patterns. The pufferfish even decorates the circle with seashells. It takes up to 10 days for the pufferfish to complete its masterpiece. That's amazing! Let me tell Kai about it. He'll be so glad to know that there's no alien invasion. Hmm, he's not picking up. If he's diving deep underwater, the signal on his communicator could be out of range. Let's just head to Amami Oshima Island to find him. I'd like to see the amazing circle for myself. Thanks for coming over so quickly. No worries, Kai. We have some good news. I have some good news, too. But you go first. There's no alien invasion. The sand circle was created by the white-spotted pufferfish, not aliens. Wait, what? The pufferfish spends more than a week working on the circle, so we really shouldn't be destroying it. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? Um, my good news is that the sand circle has been destroyed, but I guess that's bad news. Hi. I had nothing to do with it because I was waiting for you guys. Who destroyed it then? Well, you have to see it to believe it. Follow me. Meet the destroyer of sand circles, the humpback whale. This was not what I was expecting. Me neither. Look, it's the white-spotted pufferfish. Oh no, it looks upset. <gasps> What's happening to it now? It says here that when the pufferfish is afraid, it takes water into its stomach to make itself look bigger. What a swell idea! <laughs> <laughs> because it swells itself up. <laughs> Let's get a bit closer. I'm worried for the pufferfish. I'd like to see if I can get a better view of it, just to make sure it's okay. <gasps> the whale is headed this way! the whale is gone, the pufferfish is creating a new sand circle. That gives me an idea. We'll distract the whale while the pufferfish works on it. Ah! Ah! I'm getting dizzy. Oh no, I think it's done playing with us. Oops, sorry, I didn't see you there. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing here? I found a sand circle on the ocean floor and thought that aliens were responsible for them. But we found out that it was actually made by the white-spotted pufferfish. That's right, Leo. The male white-spotted pufferfish creates such intricate patterns in the sand to attract the female. If she likes what she sees, she lays her eggs in the center of the circle. I'll lead the whale away with my singing. Oh. Oh. It's working! The whale is 
following him. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Thank you. It's just us now, Mr. Pufferfish. Don't worry, we'll help you build your circle. It's beautiful. <gasps> Look who's swimming over. She likes the circle! Woohoo! We did it! Hey! Seahorses! Come over and take a look, guys! It seems as if the seahorse is chasing another seahorse around! <gasps> Could it be a bully? Hmm, but we don't know anything about a seahorse. Let's find out more about it. I just sent you a photo of the seahorse, Katie. I'm already on it, Leo. It seems the seahorse is a big belly seahorse. It's one of the biggest seahorses in the world. The male big belly seahorse has a smooth belly, while the female's belly is more pointed. Excuse me, Mr. Seahorse. Are you two in love? Oh! Would you like us to help you win her heart? I think that's a yes. All right, let's do it. Sleeping dolphin, come in, sleeping dolphin. We're approaching the whale. Whoa, it's amazing how she dodges him every time. Does she have eyes in the back of her head, sleeping dolphin? Almost, Kyle. Big belly seahorses, like other seahorses, have eyes that move independently of each other. This means that they can look in any direction. Wow, that's so cool. What if we tried impressing her instead? In the wild, it's all about being the strongest and fastest animal. How fast can you swim, Mr. Seahorse? I don't think he can swim very fast, Kyle. His fins are too little. Is there a way we can help him swim faster then? Oh, I have an idea. But we're gonna need Hero's jetpack. Hang on tight, Mr. Seahorse. <laughs> I think he went a little too fast. How else can we help him? Some animals use colors to attract a mate. Maybe we should try decorating Mr. Seahorse with different colors. Yeah, it'll be like a makeover. You look dashing, Mr. Seahorse. I hope she'll be impressed when she sees you this time. I don't know, guys. Don't you think it's too much? It'll be fine, Leo. She's right over there. Go on, show off your beautiful new colors. Oh no! The female seahorse wasn't attracted, but that crab sure is. What are you doing, Leo? Crabs are attracted to light. Hey, crab, over here. Whoa, he's pretty fast. Thanks, hero. It's okay, Mr. Seahorse. The coast is clear now. Looks so sad. The path to true love never runs smooth. Or maybe you're just on the wrong path. Hello, Junior Rangers. It's true that lots of animals use either speed, strength, or colors to attract a mate, but the big belly seahorse just isn't one of them. To find a mate, they dance. Dance? 
That's right, Junior Rangers. Male big belly seahorses attract females with a courtship dance, where the seahorses swim with each other, waggle their fins, and entwine their tails. So that's what the seahorse was trying to do earlier. He was just trying to dance. All he needs is a little music for him to show off his moves. Underwater dance party! He's feeling the music! They're going to start a family. Ah, goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Mr. Seahorse. What am I? Easy, a chicken. Next, a tiger. Arf, arf, arf. Uh, um, uh, a mouse. Huh? A hero? Time's up. It's a dog. A dog. Oh, how could I have missed that? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. What are you up to today? Hi, Leo. I'm compiling a list for my Junior Ranger handbook, and I need your help. Sure thing, Farah. What's the list about? Have you heard of the Mimic Octopus? A Mimic Octopus? Here's a photo of it. It looks like an ordinary octopus. But it can disguise itself to look like another animal. It's really tricky to spot, and I need your help to find it. You can count on us. We'll be right over. Excellent. See you guys soon. Ranger out. The Mimic Octopus. The Mimic Octopus can be found in shallow, murky waters of the Indo-Pacific region. In its original form, it is light brown in color. But the Mimic Octopus is a master of disguise. It can change its appearance and behavior to look like other animals. Wow, I hope we get to see its transformations. Only if we find the octopus first. Bara to Leo, over. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Awesome. Once you find the mimic octopus, tell me everything it mimics. I'll write it down in my handbook. You got it, Fara. Now remember, the mimic octopus can be anything. So keep your eyes wide open. Don't worry, I won't be fooled. Aha! I bet this is a mimic octopus disguised as a... Uh... An anemone? <gasps> that was fast! Anemone. Anemones are marine creatures that look like flowers and are related to corals. That's not a mimic octopus, Leo. It's a real anemone. Oops, <laughs> you're right, Katie. Sorry, Farah. False alarm. That was not a mimic octopus disguised as an anemone. It's not? Okay, no anemone then. Let's look somewhere else. The mimic octopus could be anything. Hmm, I wonder. What are you doing, Katie? Done. I just installed the scanner from my computer. We can identify animals and plants now. Huh? It says here that the coral is human. Is there something wrong with the program? Hello, Junior Ranger. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? What are you doing here, Ranger Rocky? I was practicing my mimicry by pretending to be a coral. What are you Rangers doing here? We're trying to find out what creatures the mimic octopus mimics. Ah, the master of disguise. While the Mimic Octopus is not venomous, it is able to mimic other creatures that are venomous. By doing that, the octopus tricks others into thinking it's venomous and protects itself from danger. So, we should look out for venomous creatures. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky? Where did he go? His mimicry worked. But now we have a Mimic Octopus to find. 
What's that, Hero? It's on the move again! Now it's mimicking a jellyfish! Jelly... Now it's a... Oh! A banded soul! A banded soul? It's a stingray! Banded soul! Stingray! Soul! Band ray! Jellyfish! Sting jelly... Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense! Arr. What is it? Turkey! A turkey! What? I think it's a turkey. Turkeys don't live in the ocean, Leo. A special underwater turkey? Huh? Now it's walking. <laughs> what about a duck? Ducks don't live in the ocean either. I agree. That's obviously not a duck. Farah, you're here. I had to see this for myself. Besides, my handbook was getting very messy. Oops, sorry. I still think it's a turkey. Nah, it looks like an underwater mushroom to me. Oh, oh, fried chicken? How about some algae? An underwater furball? It's obviously a... Wait, where did the octopus go? It's disguised itself again. Could it be that rock? I'll use my scanner. That's a rock. That's a rock, too. Still rock. Or that seaweed? The ocean floor? It could be anything. Do you see her, Leo? No. I hope Farah's okay. Me too. She wanted us to come right away. <sighs> Did you hear something? You're here! Fara! Fara! Ugh! Seaweed! Where's my handbook? Ah, here it is! We got your message about an intense fight underwater. Are you okay? What happened? I'm okay, but it's chaotic down there. They're still fighting. Let's go stop them! No! It's too dangerous! I barely escaped! Who or what is having that fight? Is it a shark? A giant squid? A shark fighting a giant squid? It's worse. I can't even bring myself to tell you what they are. Whoa. <laughs> Let's find out exactly what we're dealing with from a safe distance. Hero, can we use your camera? Good idea, Leo. I'll help control it with my tablet. Okay, now let's see what we've got. I don't see anything. Just a little to the left? Hmm, try going to the right instead. There, there they are! What, where? Go closer! Going closer. Huh? Shrimps? shrimps? Angry, fighting shrimps. That's it. I thought they'd be bigger. What exactly are they? Let's find out. These are no ordinary shrimps. Peacock mantis shrimps are a type of crustacean. That means they have hard outer shells. Are they dangerous? Far is right. They may be small, but mantis shrimps can be aggressive. They're armed with special weapons of their own. There are two types of mantis shrimps, the smashers and the spearers. Smashers have front claws that are tipped with something that looks like a hammer. These shrimps pack a punch. They use their hammer-like claws to smash things. Spearers have sharp points at the end of their claws, like a little spear. They use that to poke things. Are peacock mantis shrimps smashers or spearers? Oh no, they're at it again! Whoa, that was fast! But if we slow the footage down, we can see that peacock mantis shrimps are... Smashers! No, no, no! According to my handbook, chapter 4, page 2, animals shouldn't be smashing each other! Don't worry, Farah. We'll break up the fight. <gasps> oh no! 
That's okay, Hero. I'll get it back for you. Ugh, I can't see a thing. The camera is not responding. Let's turn Platypus One into a giant mantis shrimp. When those tiny mantis shrimps see how big it is, they'll be so scared that they'll forget all about their fight. Are you sure you want to do that? What if the mantis shrimp breaks something? Don't worry, Farah. I think Platypus One can take on a couple of shrimpy shrimps. Okay, guys, let's turn Platypus One into an unbeatable mantis shrimp monster. Ready, Farah? Yeah, now! Good job, Farah. I'm bringing us closer. Roger that, Leo. Rawr, shrimps, break it up, break it up. Huh? huh? Why are they swimming towards us? Ah! Cool. They're working as a team now. That's right. Go home. No more violence for you two. Yes, we got the shrimps to stop fighting and work together. That's great for them, but not for us. Look! Uh-oh, time to get out of here. Hang on tight, Farah. <sighs> we made it out alive. I'll never underestimate shrimps again. Are you okay back there, Farah? Rawr! Rawr! Oops, I mean, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. What's up? Hi, Leo. You won't believe what I just found on the beach. An enormous crab leg. It's way longer than me. Here, I took a photo of it. Whoa. An enormous crab leg? What's it doing on the beach? Hmm. I can run the photo through the computer to look for more information. There it is. It seems the giant crab leg belongs to the Japanese spider crab. The Japanese spider crab is one of the world's largest crab. Its body is about the size of a basketball, and it has the longest legs out of all the other crabs. From claw to claw, it can measure over three meters. That's about two of you, Leo. Whoa! It also says here that Japanese spider crabs can live up to 100 years. Wow, that's amazing. Did you hear that, Kai? The leg you found belongs to a Japanese spider crab. Spider? Oh, I hope it doesn't look like one. I don't like creepy crawlies too much. I hope the crab is all right. Me too, Katie. We should find it and make sure it's okay. It would be shellfish of us to ignore the situation. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come over to look for the crab. Okay, see you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. Thanks for coming, guys. That's the longest leg I've ever seen. Where did you find it, Kai? Right there by the rock. Whoa! Careful, Kai. Huh? What's that? <gasps> Leo? What are you doing over there? Are you okay, Leo? <laughs> I'm all right. Oops, did I hit you with a leg? Sorry, I wasn't looking. No worries, Kai, but you need to be careful with that. It says here that Japanese spider crabs live on the ocean floor in deep waters. Hmm, the leg must have washed ashore. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get into our scuba gear and dive underwater to look for it. Japanese spider crab, where are you? We have your leg. I don't think that's going to work, Kai. Then how are we going to find it? Uh, guys? <gasps> I think it found us. It's huge. Look, it's missing a leg. This must be the crab we're looking for. Hmm, I wonder if we can put its leg back. Don't worry, Spider Crab. 
we're just trying to put your leg back on. That way, you'll have all your legs again. Are you sure that's how crabs work, Leo? It's a perfect fit. That doesn't look very perfect to me. But the crab can't go around with a missing leg. Hmm. If only we could make it a new one. <gasps> Good idea, Katie. We can do that. I can't believe I didn't think of it earlier. We can make an entirely new crab leg. We can make it even stronger than the current leg. <gasps> we can help the crab move faster. We can have it shoot lasers. It's going to be awesome. Let's go. Cool beans. We did it. The new mechanical crab leg is good to go. Great job, Rangers. <laughs> I can't wait for the crab to try it on. Let's go. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Leo, where did he go? <sighs> Not again. Don't worry. We made you a new leg this time. It's a perfect fit. Maybe we should stop using the word perfect all the time. I don't get it. Why didn't it work? What did we do wrong? What if we get something to tie the leg to the crab? Let's look for something we can use. Probably not seaweed. Ah! Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky. <laughs> Sorry to scare you, Leo. What are you guys doing in the depths of the ocean? We found a Japanese spider crab with a missing leg. So we made it a brand new mechanical one. But it doesn't fit. Wow, that's an amazing invention. Great work, Junior Rangers. But there's no need to worry. It's common for Japanese spider crabs to lose their long legs. Fortunately, they can survive without a leg or two. Or even three. Like other crabs, when the Japanese spider crab grows too big for its shell, they lose it to make way for a new shell to grow. This is known as molting. Japanese spider crabs sometimes grow new legs when they molt. So, the crab will do just fine without the mechanical leg. Phew, I'm glad it's going to be all right after all. Be careful, hero. We don't want the crabs to lose any more legs. <laughs> I think he likes hero. <laughs> hmm. Uh, can I keep the mechanical leg, Kai? I have an idea. Of course, Katie. It'll be shellfish of me to keep it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> What a cool and peaceful night. Huh? What's that? A baby turtle? Did you find your bone, Hero? <laughs> That's a good boy. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Zari. What's up? Hi, Leo. I'm at the beach, and I found a baby turtle crawling on the sand. A baby turtle? Aww. So cute! But it's all alone. Do you know if it'll be okay? It's alone? Let's look up more information on the computer to see how we can help it. I'm right behind you, Katie. In the meantime, stay on the line, Zari. See you later, hero. It's a baby hawksbill turtle. Hawksbill turtles get their name from the shape of their mouths. Their upper jaw sticks out more than the lower one, giving their mouth a beak-like shape, just like a hawk. Female hawksbill turtles return to the same area where they were hatched to lay eggs. One turtle can lay up to 200 eggs at a time. That's a lot of babies. Where are the turtle's brothers and sisters? Maybe they're still in the nest. Baby hawksbill turtles emerge as a group from their nest at night and instinctively head towards the water. How do they know where the water is? The baby hawksbill turtles head towards the brightest part of the natural environment 
which is the horizon where there is moonlight reflecting off the water. So, the baby turtle siblings might be emerging from their nest soon? Do you want to come over and watch them take their first steps to the water? Yes, of course! <laughs> See you soon! Ranger out! Ranger out! Let's go meet the baby Hawksbill turtles! See you downstairs! Ranger Leo all set! Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Happy birthday, baby Hawksbill Turtles! Welcome to the world! Look at them go! <laughs> oh no! Some baby turtles are going the wrong way! Turn around, baby turtles! The water's this way! I think the baby turtles are confused by the street light. They're a lot brighter than the light on the water. Then we need to cover that light. What can we use around here? Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. We can use trash bags to block out the light. Great idea, Zari. Yuck! No! <laughs> I'll do it. It's empty. Oh! <laughs> Leo, can you help me? Sure, Katie. Jetpack activate. activate! That seems to do the trick. It's not so bright now. The baby turtles are turning back to the water. We did it! Um, where is the Hawksbill turtle, Mom? Why isn't she here to protect and guide her babies? Great question, Katie. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. To answer your question, Katie, once the Hawksbill Turtle Mom has laid her eggs in the sand, she covers it up and goes back to sea. The nest is left unattended, and the eggs are vulnerable to predators like monitor lizards and crabs. After the eggs hatch, the baby Hawksbill Turtle's journey to the water is also a dangerous one, especially in an urban environment like this. There are natural predators like crabs and birds, and also other threats like pollution. Hawksbill turtles are critically endangered. We need to do our best to protect them. That means there aren't many of them left in the wild? We have to help as many baby turtles as we can. Whoa! Some of them are heading towards the rocks. They might get stuck there. And I see some trash in the water. The turtles could get trapped in those plastic bags. A baby turtle's being dragged under the sand! There are dangers all around. Junior Rangers, let's split up to save the baby turtles. Got it! Let's do this! Aha! This might work! Baby turtles, I'm coming to save you! Hang on, baby turtles. Don't get caught in the plastic bags. There! Much better! That should do it! Turn away from the rocks, baby turtles! Careful, hero! <gasps> it's a crab! And it's got a baby turtle in its claw! Come here, crab! No, no! Hey! Gotcha! Sorry, crab. Baby turtles are not on the menu today. There goes the last few baby turtles. Goodbye, baby turtles! We hope to see you again when you're all grown up! You're free to go now, Crab. Sorry about that. We'll make sure to bring you something else to eat. You did well today, Junior Rangers. Hit subscribe and click the like icon. <laughs>